Also, we have a new video up on our YouTube. I'm trying out a series where we go through a draft together and we draft individual cards. Um, we will draft individual cards, uh, one per episode. And at the end of the season, we will put together that draft deck that we've drafted ourselves and we'll play it in arena and see how we fare. So episode one is up on our YouTube channel right now. Um, for those interested, I will put the Bailey link in chat and you can head over and check out that video, give it a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel for updates and, and maybe even just hit the watch later button and check it out. Uh, sometime when you've got some downtime, it's really short. Um, and yeah, I had a lot of fun making it. I'm really excited to see kind of what we put together. I'm just going to minimize arena for a second so that I can put this code in and not get sniped. Don't want to get sniped. I almost started reading it out loud. long ass codes redeem code successful sneak attack and rough and tumble so here is our two new decks the ones that we just pulled apart <clears throat> and that's the beauty okay so let me remind you this was ten dollars 9.99 canadian and we got two physical decks and we get two copies of those or one copy of each of those decks in arena and they're called it's called the magic the gathering arena starter kit and it is absolutely worth every single dollar the guy at the game store um said that some of the cards in the last one were worth over ten dollars and so it's immediate profit if you're into uh that kind of thing for your cards i don't know uh, sweet. Fritz found his monkey. I got a ton of firsts because we didn't do a lot of Kaldheim card opening. We don't have a lot of Strixhaven cards. And, like, some of these rares are just, like, really interesting. Arnie Broken Brow is really interesting. Cyclone Summoner is really cool. Mind Flayer is a dope fucking card so we're going to play probably like let's say five games with each of these decks and okay so right here is where the other deck starts so we'll play like five games with each of the decks and we will see how they go also i want to give a shout out to um the Magic Arena... Oh, right, we still need to do our Kaladesh remastered. How long is that going on for? Uh, it doesn't say. You get one free Kaladesh remastered draft. We'll probably do that tomorrow. Um, okay, so shout out to Arena, Wizards of the Coast. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Sticking his fat head in every bag that's on the floor. Um, the I finished the color challenges finally. I finally sat down and finished them. Um, and you get a wicked deck for finishing all of the color challenges. I got this deck, and it had a ton of cards I'd never gotten before. It had a ton of useful cards that I can put in other decks. Um, like Toski, Bearer of Secrets. I didn't have one of him before, and now I've got one. I got a couple of Targnars. I got a bunch of Hellhounds. Um, Phylath. It's it's really cool. And uh, Inferno of the Star Mounts is another one. And it's like all I had to do was finish the color challenges. And then now I can unlock another deck in 10 hours. So I guess... 
That's like a 24 hour ish wait period, maybe a little bit more. Because I played it yesterday. Or maybe I played it this morning. I can't remember now. I can look at my Twitter and find out. Um, I played it nine hours ago. Okay. So yeah, this morning. So I have to wait till tomorrow morning to, to get another deck. And it looks like every 24 hours you can unlock a new deck just by finishing the color challenge, which is really, really cool. Uh, we're almost capped on our weekly wins. We've got some new quests. Cast tw 20 black or red spells. Well, that's going to be easy. And then we'll probably do some more brawl tonight if we feel up to it because it's been a lot of fun. Although midweek magic starts now. Yeah, it's on already. We might we might do that instead. Um, but let's play some regular games with these new decks that we just opened. Should we do blue red first or black green first? My camera is like super zoomed in. There we go. Now it's just less super zoomed in. He wants tension, so seat and bring my desk down a bit, point my camera down. Good boy. Boy, don't sneeze on my cart. So mouthy. So mouthy. I love my boy. He's my favorite boy. Look at him. How could you not love him? Hey. He's mean. We got some Fritz. Fritz emos in the chat. Hey, the freeze man. Okay, I think we're gonna do. Oh. I think we're gonna do blue red first. I've never. I don't play a lot of red. The most I've played red is in the color challenge, so. Let's check this out and see how it goes. What are you doing? What do you want? The boy. The boy. One down. Oh. No. No. All right, let's let's jam. Let's jam some magic. Okay, but what are you doing? You just want to sit on my one leg like that? Hey. He's such a good boy. We got two run amucks and two red dragons. That's a mulligan. Uh, okay, well, at least we got one blue. Uh, I'm gonna put one of my serpents at the bottom. Ooh. Black, white. Wait, why didn't he attack with that?
Sí. Yeah, keep making them buff. Uh, what am I doing? Oh. Playing magic. Okay, boy. <sighs> Debating me here? I'll take that trade any day. You're fine, bud. Fucking life linkers. What? Why wouldn't you attack with that? You wanna wait till I attack with that guy? Oh fuck! Draw a card, sure. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yep. This is not going well. Evolving wilds, really? It's a good game to me. Well, just for saying that, I'm gonna concede and not let you deal lethal, because fuck you. What the? You're okay. Nothing's happening. So we're 0 and 1. With the Arena Starter Kit deck. Blue Red. Blue Red Aggro. Which is interesting. Oh, fucking Outbreak's online. Fucking Outbreak. Buds. 
eso sí. Ok. Four lands. Let me take that. Three, two drops? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Go lay down. Another two drop? What the fuck? What the fuck? I hate people who play white <laughs> decks. It's the worst. Stream. I'll play another cavalry. And then we will go to combat, go to attackers, attack everybody. A little bit of a run amok. Amok, 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 amok. Look at him just sitting back there. Look at him. Just concerned. Always looking worried. I need creatures. Sarah Angel, come the fuck on. Maybe. Sure. Maybe these decks just aren't up to snuff. It's five, nine, ten, twelve. I, mean, I can't block with anybody, so... Really? That's only 5-6 damage. Fuck. Fuck! Okay, we're 0-2. I have a record thing, don't I? Yeah, that is.
go for a over a magic font, shall we? All right. All in two. Fucking gypsies all over the place. No, I love gypsies. No offense to gypsies. Got an evolving some hefty boys out here though. I'm gonna keep just to fuck around. Let's do an island. God, we got three of our rares. In the, from this deck. A little bonkers. A shambling ghast. Okay, well, apparently we didn't need an island. Uh, do I want to do that? I guess so. I guess so. Ooh, a hex blade. Do we calamity bear or do we archmage? Giant source you control would deal damage to a permanent or player it deals double that damage to a permanent. I mean that's pretty fucking good. That's pretty good. We're gonna wait to flare until they put out something juicy, right? We have to. We have to. Need that juicy target. Big old juice. Jugo juice. Well, that's not a bad target. I could use the treasure. So, if we Archmage, we can't. So, I'm gonna Vortex Runner. And then double attack. And then I'm gonna run amok. I didn't have enough to do Archmage and run amok, so... Flying lifelink in haste. Okay, but... That's a target I want. Oh, 
shit. Are we gonna win one? I mean, he might have a blood on the snow. Might. Don't know if he will, though. For that and three for this. Oh, I can afford the kicker? Okay. I'm just gonna do that then. And we got an ambusher, an island, and a Arnie Broken Brow. Um. Thank you for that dragon. I really appreciate it. I like this broken brow. I can boast him up to five. Yeah, that's good. I would do that. Let me tap that guy and he's got nothing. That mind flare really saved my ass. too soon. Um, he doesn't have haste. We got one. We got one. So these decks are pretty interesting. I'm not super in love with them. At least this one so far. Two more games to play with this one and then we'll switch over to the other one and see how that one fares. Again, just for the collection of cards, like this was only $10 at the game store. You get two full decks of paper magic cards. I've got them right here. Two full decks. 
And you get copies of those decks in Arena. And yeah, there's not a ton of like really rare stuff in there, but like the Mind Flare, the Broken Brow, uh, both of the face cards on these decks, like they're very interesting cards. Definitely stuff you can use in other decks. Three two drops, three islands, we're keeping. Uh, what are we fiending for? Should we grab another island? Hello. Oh. Don't hate. Um, actually, you know what? Let's play Trickster. And we'll tap that. And Doesn't matter. I'm gonna switch over to some low five for a bit. Chill. Exiled it. Why would you do such a thing? Would you do such a thing? My poor little guy. Oh, I didn't change the sleeves on these decks. What a mistake. What's this guy got? Oh, he's got the ice. The ice. The icing death sleeve. Um... Hard aggro. It's weird to play blue cards and play aggro. But there's not a ton of blue control stuff in here. Ooh. I think we're gonna gain. We're gonna take your. Thunderous Orator. Oh. Hey. We take those wins. Those frustrating wins. Two and two, baby. This last one is for all them marbles. Gotta get them marbles. All right, let's change our fucking sleeve real fast. Sneak attack. Wait, why is this deck called sneak attack? Oh, cause I have like untap guys and 
Sneak attack's not really a great name for it. It's not like it's rogues or anything. Strange. Um, okay. I think we gotta go with one of the cal time sleeves. Should we go fire or water? Or maybe we go with Ilmrith? Hmm. Actually, this is fire water. Oh, but these Caldine ones are too good. Too water. Apply styles. Oh, I have evolving wild style. Evolving wild style. Okay, one more game with the sneak attack deck. And then we'll take a quick break and switch over to the other deck. And we'll take a quick break. Need to use the washroom. Let's go, fire boy. Three land, two two drops. Oh, four two drops. Okay. We're just gonna kill everything he puts out. Untap all of our bullshit. Oh my god, and we got Cyclone Summoner. Hell yeah. Oh, wait. Giants, wizards, or lands. Oh, he's gonna send my stuff back too. He's playing red green. Red green snow. Hobgobbles. Alright. Oh. Oh, do we immediately rebuke? Peter Peak Ambusher for the win. Oh shit. And he has haste. Uh sorry, Ambusher. Oh, I can't block him. Wait, why not? Can't be blocked. Fine. Um, we are going to kill him. That guy sucks butts. And then we are going to evolving wilds for a island. And then attack. I maybe shouldn't have attacked there, but it's fine. It's fine. X. That fucking one one counter stays on him. Maybe I should rebuke him. Yeah. And then I will cavalry out and attack. I didn't like that he was so juicy. Although now I don't want to play Cyclone Summoner because he's just going to bounce all my shit and not any of his shit. Because he's got no shit. Bling, 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 bling. 
Ooh, two basic plants. Oh, and I got a flare. That's rude. it ladies and gentlemen we had the mind flare we had it it was right there we just didn't get the land drop when we needed it and it's gg we could have stolen that dragon coasted to victory we didn't get the land or shame all right well that's a big Two, three, a losing. We end up with a losing record for our sneak attack deck, our Magic the Gathering Arena starter kit deck. Ends out with a losing record. Boo. Boo. All right, cool kids. I'm gonna go. Oh, let's open this pack first. Never mind. Exciting. Dopamine. Ooh, Circle of the Moon Druid is hype. Had two mana in any combination of colors. Spend this mana only to cast dragon spells or activate abilities of dragons. Pay a red and tap sacrifice orb of dragon kind. Look at the top seven cards of your library. You may reveal a dragon card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. That's going that's risking it risking it for the biscuit. You play risky for the biscuit. If you spend all that you're just getting rid of seven cards if you don't have a dragon. And even then you get a dragon, but you've just lost six cards. I love this boy. I need to make a, a bear deck, I think. And look at that. Look at that pose. So good. All right, we're gonna be right back real quick. Um, I'm just gonna go to the washroom um, and then we'll jump on to the next deck in the starter kit, which is this rough and tumble Golgari colored deck. It's very neat. So we'll check it out as soon as I get back. I will burb. I will leave my camera on so you can uh, look at Doge. Can I, hello? There we go. Uh, wait. Wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. That's pure graphic design right there. Mm.
Koresh, it's a great slogan, they managed to convince the entire continent, if not the globe, that eating a foot of bread was somehow good for you. I'm still muted. My bad. Who needs a fancy BRB screen when you've got Doge Cam? So we're gonna try out this other deck that came in our arena starter kit. Let's make sure we change up our sleeve. Let's go with the skull and skeletons. Buried to skeleton, buried, buried, buried skeletons. Um, so there's some really unique stuff in here. We've got some rares like uh, Orin Reef Ooze which screws around with 1-1 counters. We've got a Craig Plate, which adds 1-1 counters. Um, if Craig Plate Bayloth was kicked, it enters the battlefield with four 1-1 counters on it. So if I wait and cast it for 10, I get a 10-10. Uh, we've got some uh, Black Dragons. We've got an Asmodeus, which I'm still unconvinced is a great idea. But um, our Cleaving Reaper our Orin Reef, our Bayloth, and our Dragon Guard Elite are going to be pretty awesome. Well, I've got some styles. All right, I got the Black Dragon and Evolving Wilds. All right, 
So let's give this a go. Let's set our record back to zero, zero. Um, let's do zero, zero. I don't need the space there with this font. Don't, don't need the space with the font. Um, let's just play some games. Play. Rough and tumble. Let's, let's give it a whirl. A whirly gig. your horses game oh my god okay um i don't love this but no, i think we have the mulligan that's better um, i don't want to cast asmodeus get out of here asmodeus Um, what do we want to go for first? Vampire Spawny Boy on turn three. Two Evolving Wilds, really? Uh, let's do a Swamp. Let's do a Swamp. Look at white decks. Um, okay, well, let's do another swamp. Actually, you know what? Let's do trees. Fucking aggro sound. Okay, this guy's playing. Got four mana up. What do you got? Just got a bad hand, or okay, bud. Okay, lie down. Okay, no please there. What is there? Oh my god. Well, these decks don't have a lot of removal. What? Didn't we drop him to the bottom of the deck? What the fuck is going on here? Tapped on. Uh, untapped? Hello? Just realized it wasn't on. My bad. Um, okay, we got a fucking Craig plate. He blocks with his flyer. Flyer has first strike, though. So. 
Fire has first strike, flying, and lifelink, and protection from demons and dragons. That is a brutal card. He's going to do 10 damage to me. Fuck. I'm not going to have enough time to play the Bayloth. It's not enough time. Tom Adams, why? Wait, where did my... Fucking... I hate white dick. Okay. That was brutal. I didn't even see what happened. I don't know how he got one more. Oh. Because he summoned another creature, so his stupid guy with the thing, the lantern. Okay, it looks like untapped is on now. I hadn't realized it wasn't on this whole time. Four lands, an elite, and a brute. I'm keeping that. That's a good fucking... Um, what do we want? We want another trees. Fucking gobos. Oh, Jesus. Chill out, game. Chill out, game. Um, okay, let's do trees and... my chumpy boy. Dauntless Survivor is a chump blocker. 100%. He just hands out a little 1-1 one, one counter and then takes some damage. Although this guy can... Oh. something in his hand if he's making decisions like that. That'll do it. I 
for your token. I don't know if this guy knows how to block properly. He could have blocked any of my th four threes. But he didn't. He just traded the one one for the one one. strike Wait, what? And you can sit around and talk about that all you want. But until it is actually reality, it doesn't count. Hey, one and one, baby. A treasure token twice. Search your library for a card named Halvar, God of Battle, or an equipment card. Reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle. Do I have a Halvar? Uh, let's just look at a random deck. So we got the Dragon's Guard Elite on board that game, and that was a lot of fun. She got real buff. It would have been nicer if we had more spells uh, earlier, but... But... It was still fun. Beefy dudes. That's better. I think we have to ditch the brute on this one. That cliche of art yeah, finished. I think so. Yes, it can always be. But you have to Let's get a trees. Oh my god, we just drew another brute. We just put him on the bottom. <clears throat> we don't want to put out our chumpy boy yet, because... Scout problem. Oh, interesting. What the fuck? Okay. We'll do one brute this turn. That sound, huh? Wait, what? 
Why didn't you hold on to that guy? A weird choice to make. him block with his twin blades. Oh, he's not going to. Okay. Sure. For some reason I thought Dauntless Survivor gave two people 1-1 one -one counters, but he doesn't. Just the one. Just the one. What's going on here? Oh. We're gonna chump blocker there. Kill your mana dork. Mm, actually, you know what? We could kill... I'd rather kill the twin blades, to be honest. He's got two, four, seven damage in the air. So he has to block this. Well, if he doesn't do something special, he's gonna die. Oh. Okay. Six in the air. Seven if he attacks with his prophet. But he didn't attack with anybody. Okay. Okay. Haste, please. Oh, wait, I forgot about that. What the fuck? Okay, good game. <sighs> All right, we are one and two, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Menses. The menses. 
check on Doge Cam. He's doing all right. Three lands, two, three drops. And we got our fourth land, that's good. Got our fourth land, that's good. Ooh, and we got a spell, also good. We keep playing trees until so we're ready to spoil it. Oh my god. I hate those things. I hate them. Yup. <laughs> yup. Yup. Keep clicking pass. Do next turn ooze, put a counter on brute. That's weak sauce. Weak sauce. Okay. None of this is helpful right now. starter deck of dickishness well we're going to one and three that's for sure go ahead I was all both okay easy block I think we still... Oh my god, really?
I get to play the game that time. Let's well, a bummer. Okay, one more. The best record we can get right now is two and three. The best we can hope for. Three lands. Sure, let's fuck around and find out. Hello. How are you? Okay. Interesting, but not that interesting. Interesting, but not that interesting. Oh, easy. Easy clap. Easy ditch on that one. Easy clap. Get rid of Asmodeus. I think if you're paying seven life to draw seven cards, you need six mana to cast him and four mana to draw seven, return seven. And you pay it. Oh my god. Lame. But I'll say nice. For the sake of being nice. How much do I need to kick this? Five, two, three, four, five. Okay. Of this turn, or do I kennel master? Actually, you know what? I want him to get rid of his guy, so I'm going to attack. Go to blockers. And then I'm gonna uh, kick this. Oh, I didn't need to kick it though. That was just a waste of mana. I thought it got trample. That's the other one. Uh, what the fuck's it called? No, I don't remember. Oh, sure. Really? Fucking lame. Two tops, he sees what he likes. 
sees what he likes. He sees something he likes. Likes what he sees. Fucking hell. Apparently I just can't talk. Okay, if we're gonna do this land bullshit... Money. Three top. Fuck. Sure. What the fuck, game? Hello? I have nine mana right now. Fucking sure, take the one card I have. If this is a land, I'm getting... Oh my god. GG. One in four with this deck. It doesn't matter how much you know about One in four. Or writing layers. Or... Any of okay, so my biggest criticism with these two decks are obviously that they're not... Very meta friendly. They're very interesting cards. Everything in these decks is very interesting. It's stuff I'm gonna take out of them. Um, I might play a few rounds of them head to head, but there's a lot of stuff in here I wanna take out and, and screw around with. Stuff like this Dragon's Card Elite is awesome. Stuff like this Ooze is awesome. Um, obviously, uh, Spawny Boys are dope. Um, these chump blockers are awesome. I think having the extra evolving wilds is great. And and again, this this pack here, this arena starter kit, the one that we're playing right now, you get two physical decks. So I've got the physical cards, plus you get a copy of each deck for arena, and it's only ten dollars. So. Tell them why it sent you. Go to your LGS. Buy whatever, however many variations of the starter kit that they have. Because they are a crazy good deal. Sure, they don't play well against some of the meta that's currently out there. Hence my tumultuous record. But I think that there's some really interesting stuff. Especially in the blue-red deck. Um, let me just look at that. In the blue red deck, you've got the uh, Mind Flayer, which is an absolute must in blue control decks. Cyclone Summoner is really interesting for wiping the board. Um, Wormhole Serpent's Calamity Bearer, Arnie Broken Brow. There's some really neat pieces in these decks, and I think that um, if if not for for anything else. Spend the $10, buy the starter kit, get some physical cards that you can throw into other decks you might be building or brewing, and then take apart the cards in Arena and use some of these. Um, try them out before you destroy them and see if you like them the way they are, but it, it never hurts having more Evolving Wilds, it never hurts having more Dragons, um, and there's a lot of modern stuff in here, stuff from these last couple of sets. Um, yeah, and apparently there's some older versions of the Arena Starter Kit floating around that have, <coughs> pardon me, have some other interesting cards in it. So definitely check out your game store um, and see if you can pick up any of these because they are super worth the money.